Good morning, this is David A. Castro, the prophet from the projects at brooklynblessing.com. Alrighty, I'm a little late this morning, but here I am. And I missed yesterday's broadcast, but here I am. Okay, now, we are beginning to talk this week on pertinent prophecies. Last week we spoke on what time it is and so many important and powerful visions were shared throughout those broadcasts and I made a series of three YouTube videos that um, record those um, those messages okay so so powerful got to listen to what time it is parts one two and three now on YouTube easy to find through my website brooklynblessing.com now more pertinent prophecies now first of all listen those that don't know me let me explain I'm a prophet God speaks to me I don't speak uh, just teaching and evangelizing and motivational sermons and nice things which is all good but I speak what God has revealed to me okay now pertinent prophecies well uh, God has begun to tell me to invite people ministers particularly to go ahead and enjoy their lives go ahead and enjoy lives and that includes go ahead and uh, withdrawing from your quote-unquote ministry posts you've accomplished what you needed to accomplish I know people look I want to give like three different testimonies I will elaborate it further later but right now let me just begin to begin on speaking about these uh, messages I have for people that I know for 20 and 30 years okay so I know a bishop and many many years uh, I know this guy and um, he's accomplished a lot and I had a vision with I've had visions for him and God has used me to confirm a number of things for him for his ministry all right and I had this vision about three years ago two three years ago that showed me that he began to entertain the idea or has entertained the idea of taking some money and going to a tropical island and just enjoying life on the beach now the way it hit me maybe it's my own subjective contribution to the revelation of God maybe it's partly the revelation of God but I saw that uh, he was actually thinking of you know just having fun in ways that some Christians might consider not appropriate or sinful or something that is disdainful okay I'm not gonna go into the details of that but I said okay Lord okay so he's entertaining this idea who doesn't we all have entertained ideas of doing things that you know normally Christians don't think of as appropriate so uh, I said but why would you you know why would you show me something like that about somebody like that, that that's common that's you know uh, it's not surprising we all have entertain such thoughts finally the Lord spoke to me and said because I want him to do it now that's the one that really shocked me that because he wanted to do it wait a minute I understand that people have thoughts but but you will permit me to know these thoughts of his because you want him to do it oh my god now this is this is radical this is too progressive for me this is this is really uh, interesting Lord come on now come on now Lord so I spoke with the Lord for five or ten minutes no 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 not even five minutes seemed like a long time but no actually it was just a few minutes and as I'm praying right after I had this vision with this pastor this bishop why would you want him why would you want him want him to do that why would you want him to take some money whether it belongs to the church or to him whether it's in a legitimate way or not I'm not sure and actually honestly right now it doesn't matter it doesn't matter because the Lord is saying to me there are things that are more important than whether a person does something whether they do something legitimately or not 
even though those are legitimate concerns, there are other concerns that are more important. So I'm looking for those. I'm trying to transcend all our rules for a moment, as I tried to do when I was interpreting the dream. I'm trying to think higher beyond the rules, beyond the conventional way of thinking. So then I'm saying, okay, let's just, let's just go there. Let me in, indulge God's progressive idea, but let's Let's see, but why would you want him? Why would you want him to? Even if he goes ahead and does it in an illegitimate form, what if it's not his own money, but church's money? What if he goes without his wife? What if he does hang out with other girls, you know? Uh, what? What is the reason? Why would you let him? Why would you want him to? Ah, uh, finally the Lord said, because I want to know him more. When he said that, it did something to my understanding. I had such an epiphany, uh, figuratively speaking, at that moment. I began to understand, oh my God, God really does think high thoughts. God's ways really are higher than ours. His ways really are ours, are higher than ours. Um, again, this thing about what's legitimate, what's not, whether it will be sin or not, that is a concern, but right now that's just another show, that's just another part, uh, another component of the entire deal. We're looking at the higher parts of the deal, and that is that God wants to know this man more. Now, he, he's still pretty young, and if he were to continue in his quote-unquote perfectly holy and religious walk, obviously that could be a very good thing and appropriate and, and, and uh, how do you say, uh, you know, he's a staple in the community, he's an, an icon in his community, and, you know, his legacy is stellar, etc., etc., etc. But God looks at him. God wants to grow him up. God wants to know him more. And by a person doing all these perfect and holy and religious things, um, repeating the same, the same old uh, machine, it's not normal. It's not healthy for an individual. It's not healthy in, in the sense of there's no growth there when a person continues to go through the same old motions. So that he would expand and experience other parts of life, it will force him to experience other parts of God. New thoughts, new vistas, new challenges, new discoveries of who he really is, and so on and so forth. There's more to say along those lines, but right now that's, that's enough. That's en enough of a point right there. Thing is, when I have shared this with mature Christians, they were all blown away. Not only that this is a radical, progressive thought from God that they absolutely understood because they appreciated the, the dynamic of God and not the religious nature of God. So that, dy that dynamic component in God's personality was new to these people that I shared it with and that blew them away and how it was applied to one of their own, this peer, this great man of God, that just really impressed and taught a, a handful of other mature, spiritually mature Christians that I shared it with. So they were very impressed at that. They were very impressed that I got that from the Lord. They were very impressed at my articulation of my interpretation of that. And they certainly learned something new about God. So I finally shared it with the guy because I know he's very religious, so I very hesitantly, I took three years before I even shared it with the guy. When I finally shared it with him, I said, I'm going to share this with you, I want to share this with you, but I'm going to have to tone it down because, you know, you're probably going to challenge me big time. He said, no, go ahead, man, hit me, hit me between the high, go ahead, just don't tone it down, suck it to me, brother. Well, I still toned it down a little bit, you know, and I qualified each step of the revelation as I went, but I did go ahead and sock it to him 
well enough that I was able to really give him the meat of what God was trying to say. And man, he said amen. He said amen. That he might actually do something like that, I don't know. But that he now has this um, fresh way of looking at God, um, that's a start. So I had a couple of other visions with other ministers that somehow say the same thing and they are likewise saying amen so I am impressed with God and I'm thankful that I'm, I'm able to understand and articulate and boldly tell these people hey God wants you to take a fresh look at him and look at this fresh invitation to come up higher where Jesus is hallelujah